Bangalore is known for a lot of things, certainly for its beaches, its swaying palm trees, but it's also known for its educational institutions. We're in Bangalore ahead of the Karnataka Assembly elections trying to gauge the mood of the public. These are going to be extremely hard-fought elections. So let's listen in from the public, especially the young in Bangalore on what they think. What problems are you facing? For education. They should provide more facilities. What are you studying? I'm studying MBA. MBA. Yeah. What about you? You voted before? Yeah, I voted. This is my second vote. Okay, so what are what according to you is the important issue for youngsters like you? Same, I guess uh, education is only mm -hmm. important, so more improvement in it. All education. I think one of the main uh, issues is uh, bus, private buses and the traffic is increasing in Bangalore as well, just like a Bangalore. I haven't seen this, this much of traffic in recent year. I was in uh, Bangalore for four years, then I left it for two years. And then suddenly I came back and I realized, wow, the Bangalore is starting like a Bangalore. So congested roads are one of the reasons, but they can't really broaden it up uh, on sudden, but uh, they have to look it up for something uh, in controlling of uh, traffic at all so that is the one major problem private buses are, are very rude fast in a Mangalore region so that is a, one of the, my concern for students uh, apart from that uh, as usual the path holes in Mangalore some of the areas that are looking very bad at the time of uh, even though election is there or not there uh, it looks very odd sometimes what do you think are the important issues for people in Mangalore Mangalore. I guess basically currently it's a traffic, lot of traffic and currently from today there is no water in Mangalore. <laughs> so there are lots of issues currently, traffic and uh, during the Covid time many problems were happened. I guess most of the political parties were not active in those times. That was the basically problem I guess because of the Covid lots of people are going to vote according to that. What would you say, because this is the state elections, do you think that the public is overall happy with the last government? Uh, kind of, because uh, though Mangalore road improvements are a lot, though I have, it's been other problem, it's been Mangalore, it's artificial flooding. Maybe that's main reason, because rainy season is up to come, maybe that must be improved a lot. It's the story of virtually every election in India. There are always some emotional issues. There is the national picture, the big picture for the state as well. But fundamentally what matters to the public are their day-to-day -day issues. The livability factor. They want politicians to come to power and change and better the way they live their ordinary day-to-day -day lives. And that certainly is the feeling one gets when one speaks to the residents of Mangalore. A lot of young population here, they want growth opportunities, they want job opportunities and they also want safety and security, stability from their government. What are the issues uh, that you think are the most important? Uh, issues, I think, uh, we do not have drainage facility in our area. Okay. That is one thing more important and there is no proper road. Everybody is talking about roads. Roads seem to be a big issue and traffic yeah, and as well. Yes, yeah. Because the interior roads aren't proper this time. I mean, mm. uh, wherever we see, you know, it is not there. We have loopholes in the, I mean, uh, this portals, portals. sorry, sorry, portals. And, uh, you know, it is not maintained properly. Only these highways are maintained properly. Ah. So that is, I think, the major issue. And drainage, another issue. And even this, during the rain, it gets flooded everywhere. Religion doesn't matter for me. The other mm. things, what they do for our uh, area, that, mm. that's more important. So recently there was this cooker blast that happened in Mangalore. Was that something you, uh, you, you know, read about and heard about? Was that something that shocked you in any way? Yes, exactly. Because that was the first time I think I've heard something mm. cooker blast and all. Mm. Uh, yeah. 
other than that what are the issues that matter to you is it roads and drainage as well like yeah. a lot of other people thankfully we haven't faced anything like okay. roads and it's it's okay like we can travel yeah. even drainage it is it is okay so uh, is there a lot of disagreements between you friends as well as far as politics is concerned or do you not talk about politics much politics no i'm not interested into that part <laughs> whichever party come there will there will be one or the other issue yeah. there will sort of certain issues then the rest will be remaining so there is nothing to talk about political party oh so this is a very pragmatic approach every party is virtually the same and yeah. somebody will come somebody will go out of power but they'll do something they will something not do right. some things right am i right yes. overall can i ask you a slightly leading question now obviously the bjp hasn't been in power for this term and it feels like the congress is giving them a very strong fight this time around do you think that there is time for change or is there time for continuity there might be continuity uh, i don't know i'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> no nobody can be sure but she's saying there might be continuity what do you think time for change or no uh, even i don't have any idea I just have to wait and watch that's all uh, i have no idea overall how would you say you are happy with the government that was in power for 5 years yeah i am happy can i ask you the elections are coming up yes uh, what is your general sense of uh, you know how the last government has done are you happy not happy if you're not happy about what issues are you not happy Mm. as a professor i think i shouldn't be making any statements directly <laughs> but then yes each government has their own um, you know pros and cons yeah. and um, the major thing what i bothered me is um, the price issue okay the price issue was a major thing but then yeah certain projects were completed that was there uh, price issue is a major concern for me is there any you know communal politics that is bothering you you think that is necessary not necessary religious issues are coming up generally uh, genuinely or are only politicians raising them yeah this issue a uh, long back i had given a tv interview on yeah. i really hate this religious issue yeah. we all are human beings and mangalore was a beautiful place which i remember because i am born and brought up here and even now i am seeing the changes in mangalore mangalore was known for communal harmony i should say but now all of a sudden what i see is that religious issues are coming up not, not i'm not to talking about any particular religion here mm. everybody in fact probably they are raising like you know it's my religion mm. my this thing my religion is great no human religion is more humanity is the greatest religion so we have to respect each other as an individual what are the issues that are dominating you when you go out to vote next the well, main is stability okay and then uh, how the, how best they can take our state to the next level okay for you uh, regarding elections i think everybody should vote everybody has the right to vote because this is a decision making yeah. uh, other things uh, we need stability like uh, clean clean uh, beach or clean city everything should be done Pil uh, still uh, people are not uh, educated so people should be educated to do such things what are the issues you think dominate mangalore as a city i see a lot of students here yeah. uh, you've obviously collaborated with a college so do you think that the issues of the youth dominate or are there issues from your generation that are dominating no, both both are there okay and uh, mangalore as such is a clean city mm. you can say compared to any other cities uh, i have lived in other cities also so it is better we concentrate on the development of the city because uh, one thing which is lacking we i am coming from industry background so one of the thing which is really lacking is the industry okay we have uh, rotarians in kcci one of the president of kcci is our rotarian so we are all trying to promote better industry atmosphere here in mangalore so that uh, more jobs can be created for this otherwise a uh, lot of youngsters are leaving mangalore and going for jobs outside either it is bangalore or chennai or bombay or abroad mm -hmm. so we have a very good talent here in mangalore we have almost seven medical colleges and uh, plenty of engineering colleges we have very good resource in in terms of educated people mm -hmm. so why should we not use it by bringing the industry here the, the elected people have to think about the people who voted for them i mean uh, i think that's not been happening definitely i mean let's look at the assets that the mlas and mps have multiplied in last 5 years yeah. and in between we had two and a half three years of corona where i think most of us have lost assets mm -hmm. they are multiplied so there is something not going right in the background so the voters have to think well mm -hmm. vote differently please yeah right. all right that is certainly one of the issues that's dominating as far as karnataka elections is concerned corruption now that's a tag that the bombay government will have to shed they'll have to fight whether they're successful in doing so or not the public will tell 
विद कैमरा पर्सन मानस दास इन मैंगलोर शिवानी गुप्ता सीएनएन न्यूज एटी